Hi everyone, it's me Jen. And I'm John. So the husband gets to join me this time. Tonight uh, we found a new place for his friend who told him. Of another Japanese place. So we decided since we were both off on Thursday today that we would go check it out. We're going to open it and then John will put it closer. I get to have first taste. Well, she do usually usually I ask her to pick out the items because she knows more or less what I like and don't like. Oh my god! Very good. Very very light. Kind of tastes like a a heftier version of Munchos. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> tastes like Munchos. Very good. I want to try these. Because as you know, I got a new job and I'm trying to take healthy snacks. This says... This, 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 this says 15 grain healthy snack premium. And it's green tea flavored. Green tea. The green tea <laughs> matcha. Stop. It will throw these scissors at you. Not land in a good way. So, the thing about the Japanese food is, and they're individually yes, wrapped. I love that. I love it. So, this green tea, and what does it say in the front? Healthy snack? That's all it says is healthy snack. But you know what it kind of reminds me of? Uh, either a cheese puff or, you know, one of those things that you feed a hamster? Mm. <laughs> I'm a chunky hamster. Oh my god. This is very good. Mm. What's in the middle? Nothing. Okay. So it's really it's sweet but it's not as sweet. These are another ones I wanted to try because the fishies are cute. All fishes are cute. <laughs> See? And it's a fish cracker. It has that like a catfish taste. Mm -hmm. Mm. I was like, what is this? Getting up in age, man. I forget where I put things. Mm. Individually wrapped. I'm usually not a smeller when I eat food. It smells almost like a fig mutant. Mm -hmm. mm. It tastes like one. Very good. It's very good. It's very light. Mm. Very good. Tastes like a pig meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Without the pig inside. Hello. Oh, and they're like little pumpkins. Oh, it's a the keep silicone. It keep it fresh. Keep it dry. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. So you're going to have to use your scissors. <laughs> Good thing I have. There's mochi on the outside mm -hmm. and lychee in the inside. I don't know if you can see that there. Oh, they're like the little baby cupcake and the little pencil thing. Aww. They're so cute. She's got one. Oh, it's very soft. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a gel, like a, I don't know, what is a mochi? Is it dough or is it like... I don't know. I've never heard of it. This is our first experience, experiment together. Like a little pumpkin shape. It's cute. Ooh, it smells sour. Mmm. 
The outside is like a uh, Twizzler of gel or gluten, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. What's it called? Like, um, well, the outside is uh, the mochi. Inside is that the lychee. Mm -hmm. See it there? It's not sweet. You would think it would be sweet. It's not sweet. Mm -hmm. But it's not. It doesn't taste bad either. Mm -hmm. It's really good. But their bakery. Look how big this is. This. I, it caught my eye because. I like twist those twist donuts. This is what it reminded me of. And it's called a raisin bun. And it just says deluxe bakery and it gives you the ingredients that it has in it. But I have this these muffins. Oops, sorry. These muffins made of green tea. They look really good. It makes the muffins look really thick and soft. But the inside is green, so I'm like I don't know if I should taste it. It looks like it might be molded, but it's not. It's, it's matcha. Sorry. They have sesame seed on it, so that's another reason why I got it too. I want to see if it's sweet sweet. I don't think it's sweet sweet. It's like good. Mm -hmm. It's very soft. Good. It's a little, well, it's kind of moist. Mm -hmm. Just kind of tastes like an average bread mm -hmm. with raisins. Put another one I got. I'm going to see if it was. It's called milk butter cream bun. The prices aren't bad either. I think it's like a dollar fifty. No, 130. And it's pretty big. And I saw the sugar on top and I was like, okay, let's hope it's sugar. It could be candied, uh, what is it, ginger? Because they had a lot of candied ginger stuff. I'm tempted to try it because I've always wanted to try candied ginger. But I didn't get it. On my next trip, maybe. Like it's got cream in it. <laughs> I just saw that. Oh my goodness. And I don't know how they do it. Their cream is so freaking airy. It's not really heavy at all. So good. I like this. It's really good. This is really good. The cream's really light. Mm -hmm. and the bread, bread is kind of average also like this. Like the bread over here, or the raisin bread. But but the cream makes up for it. Mm -hmm. Makes up. And it's not even that sweet either. No. That's what I love about this. It's like, it's not even sweet. It looks like sweets, but it's not sweet. And usually I can't drink sweets with sweets. Not in doses. I can drink my tea. But that's so dark. So dark. <laughs> so the last thing we got and this <laughs> this one item was the only item that's been um, consistent with all the others but they come in different flavors so far and that is Kit Kat Raspberry Kit Kat. So far, the ones we've had was uh, what was the first one? Cranberry and nuts. Yeah. Second that one. Good. Yes. The second one was um, the matcha one, green tea. Green tea. The third one was strawberry. Now we got raspberry. Individually wrapped. Just to show you a close up. Yum. They had a dark chocolate one that I want to get. I 
just in case because he loves dark chocolate. Just some dark chocolate I love. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, you can smell the raspberry. It smells like a what is that vampire uh, frappuccino we get sometimes? Or the one that you get with the vanilla frappuccino with raspberry from Starbucks? Starbucks, yeah. So good. Mmm, the raspberry so strong. The smell, the scent. It's very strong, but it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Won't regret spending it. <laughs> no. Mm. Well, it's like I said before, like in my personal YouTube channel, um, instead of paying a lot of money for these big boxes and um, and not knowing what what you're gonna get, it's sometimes being disappointed. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I'm, some of this stuff we don't know what it tastes like, you know. Then, that's the whole big idea of, of doing this, you know, just go out and try something new, something different. We went ahead and we, we went in our own backyard of our city, you know, instead of trying something from across the sea or from another state, another city, we just went back right to the to the backyard and just went out went to a store Japanese store and wind up getting some of these munchies but thanks for tuning in and hanging out with me thank you John for doing this with me um, to finish the ending of the video I just wanted to reiterate and thank John for joining me. And if you get a chance, go check him out on his YouTube, Dark Nemesis the Dark. And he does a lot of unboxings and how to's and cool, and interesting story. He just finished an unboxing with Firefly. He's got a Firefly box, and of course, it dealt with Miranda and Miss. River Tam. So if you get a chance, go check it out on his channel. Nemesis the Dark. He did a beautiful one with a tribute to Ron Glass. The last, uh, the last Firefly uh, box that he got was for Ron. And it was so beautiful and we love him. He's such a beautiful actor. But um, thank you guys for joining me and joining <laughs> Thank John for hanging out with me and eating some snacks from Tim's Oriental Market. So, if you're in the San Antonio area, go out there, go check it out. Very good stuff, very good food. Go check out my Dark Realms, Texas. I know, I just shook. <laughs> it's not an earthquake. My table that you're on just shook. So, Dark Realms, Texas. I'm starting to put my podcast up in video form. Go listen to them. Go get scared. Give me your opinions if you want to hang out and talk to me and be on my podcast or my YouTube channel. If you have something that's going on in your home and you can't understand what's going on and you want somebody to check it out, let me know. Give me a call. Get the links down below. Go like. Go subscribe to not only this channel, but to my Dark Realms Texas and to John's channel, Nemesis the Dark. So until next time, thanks for hanging out with us. Enjoy your snacks from around the world. Go be adventurous and go try something new. Until next time, thanks guys. I'll see you later. Bye.